Hello and welcome to the Career Exploration Camp. My name is Patrick Stack. I'm the Executive Director for Sports Biz Cares, which runs the Sports Biz Camp's Career Exploration Camp, uh, which is going to be July 13th, July 15th, July 20th, and 22nd. I'm asking for five minutes of your time so I can give you the whole rundown to make sure that you make, make the most of this amazing opportunity to meet industry professionals, explore potential career opportunities, and take a big step forward in your college career and, and professional career. Let's jump in. So you're part of a, a event that will feature 19 different career pathways, involve 300 industry professionals, and hopefully attract a thousand students. Our goal for today is to kind of walk you through step-by-step -step your guide to attending this event. I'm also going to try to do my best to do this purely in visual form with as least amount of words as possible. So step one is get your ticket to the event. The way you do that is you're going to check your email. We'll be sending you some information with an AirMeet link. So you've registered initially on FIBA, but you actually need to get your ticket to the event, and that's through AirMeet. AirMeet is our virtual platform, so it's really great and versatile in the sense that we're going to be getting together in the body of our main stage, which is this larger room. Um, you, we are able to pull you up and ask questions, but it's a big auditorium, like virtual auditorium, obviously, where you're going to be able to take in some content. And when we're not doing that, you're going to go up to a bunch of different individual roundtables, and that's where you're going to have your pathway roundtable discussions. We're going to have as many as 35 different pathway roundtables happening at the same time. So the beauty of Airmeet is that we can do the big stuff and also the small stuff. So once again, you need to get your ticket. You need to visit the Airmeet link that we share with you. You need to go on there, drop in your name, get your ticket, and that will ensure that you're able to attend the event. To attend the event, you don't need to download an app. You just go right back to the link that you got when you registered via Airmeet. You follow that link and you're in the door. So step one is you have to make sure you follow through and get that air meet ticket. The second step is we are providing incentives and rewards um, for the students that want to compete. So we don't want you just to attend and listen or sit around for a lecture. We want you to be an active participant. This event, like so many things is what you make of it. So we're going to do that through Ascend. So Ascend is going to, um, we're going to create challenges. You're going to complete challenges within that platform. You're going to be rewarded with points. Those points will be tracked on the body armor leaderboard and you'll be rewarded with prizes. What are those prizes? Money. So we're giving away $5,000 in scholarships to the top 100 performers on the Ascend uh, and Body Armor leaderboard. Body Armor will be providing um, a number of prize packs. The Money Vehicle Financial Literacy Course provided by Jed Collins will be providing free access to that. It's valued at $300 per course to 200 people. So we're providing that at no cost thanks to SBC and our sponsors. And then Copper Banking, which is a, is a proud partner of our organization. It's banking built for teens. And that program is going to introduce the concept of saving and investing to you while also helping you open up your first account. Parents can and need to be involved in that process. So we're not trying to take money from, uh, from any students here. Uh, in fact, the student, once it signs up, registers, will have to get the parent involved to get access to that. So these are our proud, proud partners, and they're giving back to you as an attendee. <clears throat> Ascend is very important, not just from a comp competition standpoint in the hopes you're going to get prizes, but that's actually how you're going to figure out which pathway roundtables you're going to go to and when. So one of the challenges within the Ascend platform is going to be identifying the top 10 pathways that interest you. Some people might really be interested in sports marketing, sports stats analytics, sports media, and others might not have any interest at all. They want to focus on sports medicine or sports law. That's great. Well, you need to tell us what interests you, and you have to do that as part of the Ascend challenge. Once you've done that, that's going to create a map for you and the entire event. So we have a thousand different students and we can't all be at one round table. So we're going to break apart. But the only way we can do that is if you tell us what interests you. And the only way you can do that is if you log into Ascend. So it's very, very critical that you do this to be able to attend the Pathway Roundtables. Only students can do this. Parents, coaches, and teachers are not able to attend the Pathway Roundtables. It's because we want to keep it small, a max of 10 students per. Okay. Once we do that, you'll be getting this map or guide. And this will tell you as a student on which day, where you're going to be, and at what time. Very, very critical that you follow these steps. As I mentioned, the Pathway Roundtable is our opportunity to sit down with industry professionals and talk about their career pathway and what they do. It's going to happen back-to-back 30-minute -back sessions, so they should be small and quick-hitting and very efficient. Uh, up to 10 high school students per roundtable and then two professionals. So we're going to have as many as 35 to 40 concurrent roundtables happening at the same time. So that's why it's so important to do that Ascend Challenge so you know where you're going. And then as a reminder, here are the 19 roundtables that you can choose from. So 
you've got as many as eight sessions. There's two sessions a day across four days. So you can explore as many as eight different sessions, eight different pathways. And we'd highly recommend doing that because that's what this camp is about. It's about exploration. So make sure you look at this list and then complete that Ascend Challenge. And here are the amazing organizations that will be represented. In advance of that, to kick off each event, we're gonna have an all team meeting. And this is gonna be taking place in the body armor main stage. This is where everyone's invited, parents, coaches, teachers, aunts, uncles, whomever. And we're gonna have big names from sports talking about big topics. So this is gonna be how we're gonna start each day. There is the ability for you all to ask questions. As I mentioned before, you simply raise your hand within that environment. We'll pull you up. You can ask a question to the presenters. As a reminder, here's the schedule, run a show of the day. The event tips off at 12 p.m. to 1 p.m. with our all team meetings, which are the big names, big topics. And then from there, we're gonna break off into smaller pathway roundtables based upon which areas interest you the most. And you will have, we, you will have known that and identified that through the Ascend Challenge. Only students that do the Ascend Challenges are able to attend the Pathway Roundtables. No parents, coaches, or teachers, and then no students that don't do the Ascend Challenge. Get your tickets on AirMeet. That's how you're gonna get into the arena. Make sure you log into Ascend and pick which Pathway Roundtables interest you. We'll see you at camp. A couple of final closing notes. We've been promoting a college fair, and I wanna make sure that I give you guys some information about that. So this college fair will run separate but around our career exploration camp. So the ex exploration camp is Tuesday, Thursday, Tuesday, Thursday, over the course of two weeks. This is gonna happen each Wednesday. And this is for everyone that's interested in coming to learn more about um, uh, college and ultimately to understand and make an informed decision about the next step um, in their educational career. And obviously the relationship between that and prospective career in sports. So we have a college advising fair, uh, Wednesday the 14th of July and the Wednesday the 21st of, of July from 6 p.m. to 7.30 where you're going to be able to get some advice and make an informed decision about college. 6 p.m. to 6.45, we'll have a all team meeting type of uh, seminar where there's gonna be a college advisor addressing the really important aspects of applying for college and paying for college. And then from there, you're gonna be able to sit down and actually visit different universities that offer sports management programs so you can get, gain more information about where you might wanna go. Now, clearly sports management isn't a prereq to working in sports, but obviously it's, a, it's a definitely a direct line of connection. So any one of these 13 universities that interest you from 645 to 730, you'll be able to sit down at a round table with an administrator, a faculty member, an alumnus, and they'll talk to you about that specific school and that specific program. So you can actually have a better understanding where you might want to take that next step in your academic career. You will be getting more emails um, from us with, with all the links and all the information that you need. If you have any questions, you can email us back. And also the best way to kind of stay updated and, and make sure you have all the instructions for the Career Exploration Camp is to follow us on social media. It's at Sports Biz Camps on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Thank you so much for your time. Um, really appreciate that you guys are taking this, this journey with us and I'm really excited to, to give back to you. And thanks so much to our sponsors, namely Body Armor, that are supporting us so that we can support you. Thank you all. We'll see you in a couple weeks.